The NCAA tournament gets back underway tonight as they have moved on to the Sweet 16. And our next guest is playing on his first career NCAA tournament. He is the pride of Mount St. Joe. He's Illinois' Amani Hansberry, and he's with us now here on GCR. Amani, it's Glenn back in Baltimore. It's great to chat with you, man. Thank you for taking the time for us. Oh, uh, yeah, no problem. Hey, Amani, I, first of all, I, I just got to go work backwards before we work forwards, right? Like, for people that don't know your path, I know you were born down in Montgomery County. I know you associate, though, like with Baltimore. So give me your, like, path from Silver Spring to Baltimore and ended up at Mount St. Joe. Okay, well, I grew up in the Rockville, Gaithersburg area of Montgomery County. Um, I started my first two years of high school in D.C. at St. John's College High School. And then I also, after the first two years, I transferred after the COVID year. And I and I went to Mount St. Joseph with Coach Pat Clatchy yeah. for my second two years of high school. And you all had a lot of success when you were playing with Coach Clatchy at Mount St. Joe. <laughs> Yeah, definitely a lot of success. What what was it? Why why Mount St. Joe and why you know obviously you know coaches produce an awful lot of really good players over the years, but why was that where you wanted to be to finish up your time as a prep? Um, I mean just the winning culture of you know Pat Clatchy and just you know a lot of the, his former guys like Phil Booth, uh, you know just the history they had of you know just the success they had there, and plus it was just. Another like it was. I know it was 50 minutes away from my house, but um, just the gym access and you know uh, all the you know the the coaching staff and everything at Mount St. Joe's. You know they were all you know took me in with love, and plus I had a childhood you know best friend who also went there. So just finishing up my high school career who, with him, and you know who was that? Uh, Ace Valentine. Oh, okay, of course, right? Like, and it was obviously another really good player. Um, I, I noticed in your bio that your favorite teams are the Orioles and Ravens. Like, where, where that that seems weird to me for a kid that was only here for a couple of years. Where did that come from? Uh, you know, my grandfather. Um, uh, well, he he said technically we were closer to Baltimore than you know the Nationals and the Redskins. So <laughs> my two my two favorite teams were. Uh, the Ravens and, you know, the Orioles going up. All right, well, that's it. We're claiming you as one of our own moving forward then. That's the way it's going <laughs> to work. You're one of us, Amani. I don't, do, you, do you pronounce the T when you say Baltimore? Or do you understand there's like it's really like a D? How does that? Uh, it's a D to me. I'm, there I'm we right go. You're, yeah, uh, yeah, you're yeah, home. Baltimore. You're home. You're one of us. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, um, Amani, um, being in your first NCAA tournament, right? Like, and 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 really, this ride that you guys have been on for quite a while. Um, what's it been like for you? What have these experiences been like? You know, having this first taste of it. I mean, you know, just very once in a lifetime experience. Not many teams, you know, make it this far in a tournament or make it to the tournament in general. Uh, so just being able to see it all in my first year. You know, just being on, you know, the winning side of things, you know, that's, that's been huge. And, you know, just seeing what it takes to win, uh, you know, this level has also been huge, especially at my freshman year. I feel like I got a, a lot of, like a head start past another freshman. Mount St. Joe's own Amani Hansberry now with Illinois is with us here on GCR. Uh, Amani, what, where, obviously this team was, your team was always very good, but this heater that you guys have been on of late through the Big Ten tournament and now pounding teams in the NCAA tournament. Where do you think this came from? Like, where did the, raising your game to this level where people legitimately look and say, oh, this this is a team that really could win the national championship, where do you feel like that came from? I feel like that really just started in the summer. We, we took a trip to Spain. I feel like we all just, you know, were connected ever since. And then plus, you know, the, the time everybody puts in the gym you know, just to work on their own game. I think that all just, you know, ties together with our success and just, you know, how we've been able to just, you know, pick apart double teams, you know, just make open shots and, you know, just play, you know, hard and just without, you know, thinking. Have you guys openly talked about winning a national championship throughout the course of the year or is that too, like, you just, you've got to stay focused on the one game and, and you can't think about things that are bigger than that? I mean, at the beginning of the season, it, it was definitely uh, – one of our two, you know, uh, goals this year, is along with, you know, winning the Big Ten title as we did. Check. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, you know, just working towards the second one is, is, you know, just one game at a time for sure. But, you know, we all know, you know, what the, the end goal is. 
you know, I remember a couple of weeks ago you guys came to College Park, and it felt like that one, you guys enjoyed that one a little bit. I, I know mm. you haven't been around for all of them, obviously, because you're in your first year, but there had been kind of like a negative history. As, as crazy as it sounds, <laughs> w- was that a big deal for Illinois because of, for whatever reason, the fact that they'd struggled against Maryland in recent years? Mm. I mean, yeah, that was a that was a big win, you know. Uh, definitely a game we had marked on our calendar after losing to them early in the year. Yeah. At, you know, the, at home. Uh, so like you, you know, you, like you said, you could pass between like kind of like a little of a, like a, a rivalry, I would say. But like just you know, just coming in and just playing playing hard, you know, just doing what we do to dig out that win. Uh, that was huge for us, you know. Just gave us more confidence to be where we are now. As someone with your size, ability, and pedigree, ha- has it been at all difficult for you, Imani, to like have to accept a role that's not, you know, thirty minutes a night, that's not as one of the marquee guys? Has that been a tough thing, or is that something that's easy to do when a team is winning? Like, yo, I'll, I'll do whatever to, to keep winning. Yeah, I mean, it's. It, I wouldn't say it's easy, but like, it, I, it's just you know my role this year, and you know my role to the team. I mean, like just. We winning and just you know playing your role is just a huge part of you know the winningness and just you know the winning attitude. So uh, just you know just coming here and just you know just not playing 30 minutes a game and just you know just focus on just getting better. Like that's been a huge you know aspect of like you know my thought process throughout the season. I, I mean, and I appreciate that, man. Like it's not easy for everybody to do, but obviously it helps when you guys are rolling the way that you are. <laughs> What 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 yeah, has sure. to what has to keep going right? Like now you're here now. You're about to play tonight in the Sweet 16. Mm-hmm. What does it take to now elevate in order? Do you have a sense for that? That like what is it going? What will the difference be in order to keep this thing rolling and end up cutting down the nets? Uh, the, I feel like the clear difference is just you know playing hard and just being the team that you know just wants it more. You know diving on the floor for 50 50 balls, getting those rebounds. In the possessions, you know, doing all the little things, making winning plays, I feel like that'll that'll separate us from any other team and, you know, get us to where we want to be, and that is a national championship. How many dudes from back home have tried reaching out to you like, bro, don't don't screw up my bracket? Like, how much have you had to deal with that <laughs> over the course of the last couple of weeks? I mean, just probably, like, not too much, but, you know, the DMs here and there, you know, just my family back home saying they got us winning, you know, going big. Like, there's not a lot of pressure. You know, they don't put too much pressure on me, but they just know, like, they're supporting me and they got my back along the way. All right. I appreciate that. That's not that, – that's much better than everybody kind of give you grief about it. And, and you know, we, we <laughs> joked about the success that you had at Mount St. Joe, but in a way, do you feel like having played in championship games and won even at that level has maybe helped prepare you for – you know, getting these minutes in the NCAA tournament during the Big Ten tournament, things like that. Uh, yeah, it definitely helped a lot. You know, just the experience of things. You know, just you know, playing at that level at that stage. You know, back home, and and then I know it's a little a little bigger of a stage. You know, going right. on to the collegiate level, but uh, it just you know just gives me like you know a little bit of confidence knowing that I've been in this position before and played something or played for a championship before as well. No man, I, I you know I I know it's a small thing, but it feels like just big games. You can't replicate like what that what those moments are like, playing in those big yeah. games. Is you're gonna be playing in more of them. Uh, Amani, I know you guys are busy getting ready for a game tonight. I just want to make sure uh, we give everybody back home a reminder. Where can people be giving you a follow on Twitter and on Instagram as you continue to to, to move forward in your career? Um, you can follow me on Instagram at igb amani. And on Twitter at IGB underscore Amani. IGB dot Amani and IGB underscore Amani. Amani Hansberry, man. So, ha- like I said, you're one of us now, right? Like, that's just, there's there's no letting it go moving forward. You're, you're a Baltimorean. We've claimed you. And every success that you have, we're claiming as our own moving forward. That's the way it's yes, going to be. Amani, congratulations, man, on everything you guys have done. Best of luck in the Sweet 16 and moving forward. Thank you for taking the time for us. Thank you so much.